Hey guys, it's Lisa Loomis here. Um, so I decided to do a quick speed paint of a bat because uh, I started taking character design, or sorry, uh, creature design, and uh, my teacher Francis Sue tells us a lot about uh, how we need to do speed paints every day, like just sit down for a half hour to 45 minutes and paint something. And uh, I've been like reluctant to do that, but I know it's really going to help me. Um, the creature I want to do was like a bat pig combination at this point. So I decided to try and study a bat's face because those things are bonkers. So um, I found a good ref. It's really high quality. I uh, had it on in my other monitor so I could see all the resolution. Um, I started out really not knowing what I was doing. I, I just used like a grainy paintbrush to rough out the, the shapes and I had, I'm really bad with painting and coloring so I was just figuring it out as I went along and just laying down colors where I could. I only gave myself a half hour so I knew I'd have to really break it down and learn something here. Um, I think my favorite part about it so far is the eyes. Like, it was like, bam, I can do it. Solid black shapes with a couple glistening highlights. Easy peasy. Everything else, not so easy peasy. Um, yeah, so I just, uh, I masked out a shape with of the bat's head and then uh, clipped everything to it for a while. And uh, once I felt like the clipping wasn't helping me, I just merged everything. Um, but I still kept the layers, so I made a copy of all of them and then merged it, just because I don't like to destruct it. Um, so here's where I go into my tool presets, and I found a, a fur brush that was given to me by my friend RJ, Marvelous. Um, and he, uh, he really helped me out, because there's a lot of different animal textures in there, but I've never been able to really utilize them. So this is me just trying out brushes, and there I used the freckle brush for uh, the nose speckles and other little things like that. Uh, and this is where I felt like just having a floating hat, a floating bat head would be kind of weird and awkward, so I added the body and uh, tried to just rough in some general shapes there so you can get the idea. I didn't really detail it, but uh, I knew the focus was going to be on the face anyway. So I went back in and started painting the mouth and the nose and just that bat nose is so bizarre. I, I, I want to research it more to see if it's even symmetrical because it's just a bunch of strange lumps and curves over each other and and why is their mouth shaped like that with the parted lower lip? Bats are so crazy but they're kind of adorable you know those uh, like low set far apart eyes that are all black and shiny and the huge ears and it just looks like it's happy all the time. Uh, <laughs> at some point, I do a little face showing the how I feel it just looks in general. There it is. Eee! <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. It was really frustrating. Like Around the halfway mark, I was like, um, can this be done now? Uh, it's been 15 minutes. Okay, I guess I, I should probably push myself and see if I can learn something from it. But... Um, then I did, and I was just worried it was never going to look good, but you just gotta keep being persistent and keep going for it. And at this point, it was 30 minutes, and I had a blast. <laughs> Glad I definitely learned something, and I'll be sure to do it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.